Welcome to the first example of finding the determinant of a three by three matrix using the diagonal method. To use a diagonal method to find the determinant of a three by three matrix, we first want to form a three by five arrangement of elements using the elements from the given matrix. To form the three by five arrangement, to form the three by five arrangement, the first columns are the same as the original matrix. The fourth column is the same as the first column and the fifth column is the same as the second column. So once we have the three by five arrangement of elements, we're ready to use a diagonal method to find the value of the three by three determinant. The determinant of matrix A is equal to the sum of the product of the red diagonals minus the sum of the product of the green diagonals. So both of these three by five arrangements are the same. So the determinant will be equal to the sum of the product of these three diagonals minus the sum of the product of these three diagonals. So going back to our example, we first want to form a three by five arrangement using the elements from matrix A. So the first three columns will be the same as matrix A. The fourth column will be the same as the first column. So we have three, negative one, two. And the fifth column will be the same as the second column. So we have one, negative two, four. And now we can find the value of the determinant of matrix A. We can write it like this, or we can use vertical bars like this, which will be equal to the sum of the product of these three diagonals minus the sum of the product of these three diagonals. So we'll first sum the product of the blue diagonals or the diagonals from the upper left to the lower right. So we'll have three times negative two times one, that's negative six, plus one times five times two, that's 10, plus two times negative one times four, that's negative eight, minus the sum of the product of the red diagonals of the diagonals from the upper right to the lower left. So we'll have two times negative two times two, that's negative eight, plus three times five times four, that's 60, plus one times negative one times one is negative one. So here we have negative six plus 10, that's four, plus negative eight, that's negative four, minus negative eight plus 60, that's 52, plus negative one, that's 51. So we have negative four minus 51, which is equal to negative 55. This is the value of our determinant. We'll take a look at a second example in the next video. I hope you found this helpful.